If you are in need of Ultimate Team Coins, check out IGXE.com in the description below. And if you use the code TREY at checkout, you'll get yourself 5% off. What is up, guys? Tuber all day here, and welcome to a brand new squad builder on my channel. This is actually going to be the first of two squad builders that you should be seeing for me this weekend. I'll have another BSG squad tomorrow or maybe the next day. And obviously, you're seeing this BSG squad builder right now. Obviously, from the title, and the thumbnail, you can tell who it is based around. It is based around Gideon Zalalem. Now, not just any Gideon Zalalem, the American Gideon Zalalem. Obviously, on your screen right now, he does still have that Germany flag on his card. But in real life, obviously, if you have not heard the news, it's been out for maybe a month, two months now. He is indeed siding with the U.S. men's national team. He went and got his U.S. passport so that he could become a U.S. citizen, and now he is going through the process of becoming part of the U.S. men's national team. He should be in the side around March, sometime in the spring. At least that's what U.S. soccer president Suno Galati said. So, Without any further ado, I mean, this squad is very, very solid. We have Sylvan Marvo in at Cam, easily one of my favorite silver cards this year. Obviously, second in form Lacazette in at Striker. I actually filmed this, not filmed, I recorded this um, little thing you're seeing on your screen right now, like the whole recording. I'm not doing this live, I do most of my videos live, but this recording on your screen actually was recorded around a month ago. I did a live commentary on it, I didn't like it, so I'm deciding to do one right now. Obviously, like I said, I recorded that around a month ago. <laughs> And now I'm doing it again. Now, a month ago, I bought second in form Lacazette for 100,000 coins. He's going for upwards of 700,000 at the moment. So if you're wanting to build this team, I'd wait until after he gets his upgrade when people start selling their cards again. Because a lot of people bought his second in form in bulk so that they could sell him for a profit. Obviously, that's pretty smart. It's investing, part of trading and whatnot. But um, if you want to get him for cheaper, I'd wait until he gets his upgrade because you don't want to spend 700000 on Lacazette. There's no way he'll go for that much. In my opinion, he'll be around one hundred fifty to 250000 when he settles after he gets his upgrade. But obviously, you can tell on your screen, we do have Brad Guzan in at goal for this team. Like I said previously, this is a BSG squad. If you don't know what a BSG squad is, it means it's a bronze, silver, gold. It has to have at least three of each card type for it to count as a BSG squad. That's at least what some people say. Some people just say, hey, if you have a bronze card, a silver card, and a gold card in here, it counts as a BSG squad, but I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to fit the criteria for this one. So I do have three, at least three bronze cards, at least three silver cards, and at least three gold cards for this team to count as a BSG squad. Uh, if you have a few changes, I'll go over in a second uh, if you want to just count it as a BSG squad even though it doesn't have at least three bronze cards in it but anyway Brad Guzan is actually very solid uh, honestly one of my favorite keepers in this game he does let in a few near post shots but honestly he it's not that big of a deal he's very solid now Joris Okora or Okore whoever you want to pronounce his name pretty sure it's Okora he is by far my favorite center back in this game I heard a lot of hype about him everyone's like yeah he's very very good I looked at his stats I'm like yeah, I guess you can see why he's good. He has some high physical, high pace. I can see why, you know, pace abuser, pace abusers would think he was good. And then, I did, until I tried him out, I just thought the hype was just like, eh. You know, he, people are just overreacting about him, but no. Seriously, he is one of the best center backs in the game. He does seem to drift off a bit into the right side, and it actually kind of works out well. He acts as kind of like a right back slash center back, so he does get out a bit and makes those tackles in the midfield, which is actually pretty cool for him. And honestly, like I said, one of my favorite center backs in this game. But moving over to our other center back, it's actually going to be an American center back who... Did play in the World Cup. He was wanted by a few clubs overseas, including Sunderland, I do believe. Obviously, Josie Altidore played for Sunderland and is moving over back into the MLS. This player plays in the MLS and indeed garnered interest overseas, but decided to stay in the MLS. It is Matt Beasler. Now, that is how you pronounce it. Matt Beasler. I've, I've heard a few people use him in their squads and pronounce it Bezler. It's actually Beasler, and you can see like low high work rates. He's very tall, nice pace, nice, you know, basically everything's nice except his physical, in my opinion. Now, like a few players such as Balotelli will easily shrug him off, and it gets kind of frustrating at times, but he's still very, very solid and easily one of my favorite center backs in this game as well. And you know, once you get a partnership of center backs that are your favorite in the game, you're just going to dominate the back. Okora and Beasler are easily 
two of my favorite center backs this FIFA and easily my favorite silver center backs this FIFA. And honestly, if you you need to go for silver defenders this year because a lot of the silver defenders have lots of pace and obviously lots of pace is fantastic. But moving over to our third center back, this is where you could change it up a bit. I do have a bronze card right here, but you could go for a silver squad to make it a lot more sweaty because in this position, you have to have a sporting KC player for it to work and it has to be an American sporting KC player to get that link with Matt Beasler so that he gets enough links. Obviously, when Zalala changes his nationality to American or when EA change it in game you won't have to do this obviously you can see I put Eric Palmer Brown right there as a bronze card he's actually very very solid to be fair like honestly I, he surprised me a bit he's very very good but you could put EK Opara right there if you do wish he's obviously very overpowered this year and he could get that link with Matt Beasler but like I said I wanted to have at least three bronze cards three silvers and three golds in this team so Eric Palmer Brown fits in perfectly but like I was saying um, once Zalalem gets his American link, Beasler will be able to get that link from uh, him right there. So he, you won't need to have necessarily you know, any Sporting KC American player here. You can just have any American player here, or any MLS player there for your, you know, whatever one you want to do. Either way, moving on to our next center mid, I believe is where we're going to next. Like I said, I recorded this about a month ago and I'm recording this after the fact. So I'm going after and I can't remember where I started each position. But anyway, yeah, we're moving over to the next center mid. It's actually easily my top two favorite players in the world. It's Alejandro Bazoya. If you did miss my update video, I went over a few things. Here's his, here's a sweet goal from him, by the way. Just takes one touch and bangs it into the top left corner. Now, as I was saying, if you missed my update video that I put out, uh, I, I'd say maybe a month ago, he did actually message me on Twitter. He still follows me, by the way. Uh, message me on Twitter and said that he'd send me a jersey, which is pretty cool. I'm, I still have yet to get it. I'm not sure if he sent it or not. I Honestly, I don't care if he sends it because I still think it's cool that he follows me and sent me a message on Twitter. It's pretty freaking cool. And he scored that banger for me. And he's actually very, very solid. Obviously, in real life, he does kind of tend to play on the wing more often than central. At least, I pretty sure he plays more on the wing than central and I wish EA would implement more kind of position cards so that players can play in their positions that they play in real life and you know for example I can move him up to striker he doesn't play striker though but he does play right mid but I can't you know change his position to right mid that's kind of annoying but he you could still play him at right mid technically you just get less Ken but anyway he's pretty solid as a player in that position he does say high medium work rates and pretty low defending but honestly I think that's kind of a lie his defending was solid in this team and I would suggest him over and over again time and time again for you guys to try out honestly he's pretty good for hybrids as you could probably tell from the team he does get a link to Beasler. he would get a link to Zalalem once he changes his nationality to american of course and he does get that link with sylvan marvo in the center of midfield which is nice to see now moving over i'm not sure where we're going to next like i said recorded this a month ago and i'm recording it after the fact i don't have the players anymore i actually sold a lot of this team so that i could you know open packs during the team of the year hype which i'm sure a lot of people did but moving over i'm sure where are we going we're going over to the left mid it's actually going to be a right mid now if I were you, I would wait until the transfers are done if you're going to build this team. But we're going to go over to a right mid that plays in the left mid position. And it's going to go with George, Kevin, and Kudu. One of my favorite youngsters in League Uh Obviously gets that link with Bedoya that you need at the moment because obviously Zalalem isn't American yet. We want at least one player on full chem um, in that midfield. So Bedoya has to be on full chem since Zalalem can't since he's not American yet. So we had to get a Knotts player in there. And Kudu is one of my favorite, like I said. He He's just out of position because I'd rather have him there than their other choices at left mid. But obviously, Basat you could use now even. He's now a man of the match silver card if you wanted to use him in that left mid position. But if I were you, I'd wait until the transfers are done. There is a right mid in League Duh called Sofian Buffal. He's four-star skill moves, pretty pacey, and he's actually transferred over to Lille. So you could use him in that left mid position as well, just like in Kudu, and he's a bronze card. So that's what I would do if I were you. I'd wait till that happens, but if not, this team, he's pretty solid, actually. He's very, very solid. But moving on, we got Serge Nabry. Now, obviously, gets that link with Zalalem due to their Arsenal connection, and he's actually very, very solid. If he had four-star skill moves, he'd honestly be the perfect winger for you, but sadly, he only has three, but he still has some very solid shooting, very solid dribbling, and honestly, I recommend him in that right mid position. Now, moving on to the last position in this team, I've mentioned time and time again who my favorite favorite player in real life is on this channel. Now, in real life, I don't like the team he plays for, and 
yeah, honestly, I, I just really don't like the team he plays for, but he does get links with everyone up there at that striker position. Only weak links. Gets a link with Nabry, gets a link with Marvo, and gets a link with Lacazette. You could probably guess who it is now. It's a player that plays in the Premier League that's French. It is Loic Remy. He's one of my favorite players in real life, if not my favorite. Obviously, Bedoya is up there as well, but Remy... Uh, if he didn't play for Chelsea, I'd definitely like him a lot more, but this team is by far one of my favorite teams I played for played with this year. I'd honestly use it in wagers and whatnot if I played wagers because it is seriously really, really fun to play with, and I've gotten really good with it. Marvo, like I said, one of my favorite players this year. Very, very, very well-rounded, and I seriously, if I could suggest and recommend one player from this team, Marvo. Definitely try out Marvo if I were you, but anyway... This will end the squad builder. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. Sorry if I, you know, messed up in a few places. This is kind of weird uh, doing a post commentary on something. I haven't done that in a long time. But anyway, please leave a like. There will be clips after I'm done talking. I've been Saber all day. And I'm out.